The family of a Scottish man killed almost 30 years ago have now hired a private investigator to revisit the case as they believe that he was in fact killed in police custody and then had his body dumped. Neil Riddle was 19 when his body was found in a field near his home in Keith, Banffshire, Banff in July 1991. A fatal accident inquiry ruled he had taken his own life, but his family believe he died in police custody and was then dumped. They say the apprentice blacksmith had lodged a complaint over an assault by an officer shortly before his death. Eyewitnesses will now be re-interviewed by a private detective hired by Neil's older brother after claims they told him that although they signed the statements, they were never in fact allowed to read them. Neil's brother, 51-year-old Ian, hopes the former police detective that is hired to carry out the private investigation will uncover differences in the statements some 30 years ago by the then Grampian police. Ian said, according to the police, Neil left the house and committed suicide. My family have always believed he was killed in custody. Lies were told and records altered to cover it up. Neil had put in a complaint saying he'd been assaulted in custody. He couldn't have been found dead in custody with that investigation going on. A number of people who spoke to police at the time have told me that they signed witness statements but weren't allowed to read them. A private investigator will take the statements again so I can show the two accounts don't add up. Ian said refusal by police to release details about his death fueled their concerns after tests allegedly showed that Neil died from an overdose of antidepressants when the inquiry, whilst the inquiry deciding that there was no suspicious circumstances. In September 2019, the family complained to the Scottish Police Authority, but no action was taken. Not surprised. Last year, the family wrote to the Solicitor General saying that they had serious misgivings over the police investigation and requested the Crown Office reopen it. They were told they would receive a response last week, but as yet have not been contacted. Police Scotland Assistant Chief Constable John Hawkins said if any new information comes to light, it will be swept under the carpet. I mean, it will be assessed. The Crown Office is considering the case, apparently, and said it will update the family in the very near future. Whatever that means. Big thank you to channel supporters, especially these guys. Your support is truly appreciated. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts, as I know many of you will. And until next time, stay safe. Look after each other. Film the police and other officials.